Hi everybody, it's Isaac here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing something I've done before. However, um, it's been a few months and people still complain about this. Before we get started, there is currently a Nitro Type Cash giveaway going on. I'll link that video in the description. It explains how to enter. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, just gives you a chance to earn some Nitro Type Cash. Um, but yeah, let's get into today's video. Today's video, I'll be talking about how to kind of help get rid of lags and disconnections on Nitro Type. Um, and I have decent internet and I have a good computer. It's a gaming laptop. And I still have, like, not lag, but times where pages don't want to load, stuff like that. And I almost can always guarantee you it's probably not your internet. So then what could it be? Well, sometimes, unfortunately, it's just Nitro Type servers. Sometimes they're just overstressed. I don't know what it is. I'm not an expert with servers. I'm better with computer hardware than I am server congestion. But yeah, sometimes they get busy, and your individual connection may be tampered with from time to time. Um, it's pretty normal for servers, you know, even with good internet, you'll see some lag spikes every once in a while. Um, and it's just something that happens. So sometimes they just can't be fixed. Issues like I have, you know, where the pages don't want to load. First things first, I recommend clearing your cache. I will be showing you how to do this. Go to this. Go to site settings. I'm not going to go to it because it might reveal my Gmail, although it's not the one I have associated with this account. But I don't want my Gmail out there online. There'll be a big button on the top. Clear cache. Um, it'll... It's just a big button, you can't miss it. And it should clear the stored data on your browser on that website, because even though that cache is supposed to make your uh, experience faster and more snappy, it doesn't always do that. Sometimes it just stores too much information and then you have a bad experience. Um, second thing second, make sure you go into Chrome or whatever browser you use, and I'm not going to show how to do this either. It will reveal my Gmail. Make sure hardware optimization is on and make well, what the other one's called. Uh, hardware acceleration or something like that. It's different for every browser. But make sure to look up how to do that. It should improve performance. It should be on automatically, but if it's not, that could be explaining some lag. Third thing's third. If you're getting physical lag, like stuttering, where like if your car is moving, like it's like jumping ahead or kind of like looks really strange, that's not your internet. If your computer is lagging in general, it's probably not your internet. It's probably your computer's processor just being fed with too much information, can't do them quickly enough, and that's when you get legs. Um, something you can do to this, of course, to close out of tabs. My old Chromebook had like four gigabytes of RAM. This one has 16, so that's nice, but my old one had four gigabytes of RAM, and I had to, couldn't have that many tabs open when I raced. Um, also, make sure you don't have a bunch of apps running in the background. If you use a Chromebook, that shouldn't be too much of an issue because you really can't have that many apps anyways. But if you have Windows or Mac, Make sure you have closed out of apps if it's lagging, especially if you have like an older Windows computer or a MacBook or something. Sometimes stuff like that can cause lag. Another thing you can do, you can disable your stylish theme. I know it's not fun, but it will improve your performance on NitroType. It doesn't make a difference for me because I have a gaming laptop. It can handle this just fine. If it can't handle NitroType with the theme, I have some concerns. Um, the other thing you can do is make sure that, I mean, you can really get into the fine print of this. You can open Task Manager here. You can go to Chrome. You can find the right one, like the one using most of the resources, which would probably be this one and this one. You can go to Details, and you can set Priority, and I would set that to High if you can. If in Windows, I don't know how to do that in Mac, but that can help too. Another thing, sometimes it can be Internet. If you're getting lags and disconnections, what you can do First of all, if you've got a bunch of devices on your network that don't need to be connected, disconnect them. Second of all, move closer to your Wi-Fi router. I know I'm sounding like your internet company's uh, support page, but this stuff does help. I use Ethernet cable. Uh, I have like a Powerline Ethernet kit, which basically Ethernet cable into this adapter that gets plugged into like an electrical outlet, and it sends a frequency through the electrical wires to another receiver and another outlet that gets plugged into my router. So it's just kind of a way to get Ethernet to a really far away room like mine, uh, which is one of the farthest rooms in the house away from the router. Um, and that can help, but there are also all sorts of, like I could be talking for hours in this video on how to make your Wi-Fi performance better in Windows. There's a ton of stuff. There's a bunch of good videos on YouTube. I won't link any because some of them miss things. And Just do your own research. That can help too. Um, and the other thing I used to find helped a little bit is like going into offline mode because sometimes my old computer would lag when notifications would pop up. Um, that's another thing you can do, disable that. Um, so you'll still be able to race, obviously, but people won't be able to invite you to race or send notifications, and that helps with lag, too. 
But that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you get something out of this. If you do, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.